Today we have the HTC Butterfly. It is of course HTC's new flagship uh, with the uh, five inch 1080p screen. It is the international version of the HTC Droid DNA, which was released for the uh, United States about several months ago. Several key differences that it has with the Droid DNA is that it uh, features a little bit less uh, of the uh, red elements that were prevalent on the uh, Verizon version, such as the power button was red, um, and the camera, the camera ring was also red. And so, if you were, uh, if you're not a fan of uh, maybe that loud of a design, this is a little bit more muted. Although it still has these red side panels and uh, a little bit of red on the uh, the front speaker here. As far as its design, it has improved upon the uh, HTC One X. It now has the inclusion of a micro SD card slot alongside the uh, micro SIM, which is uh, in this uh, right next to each other in both of these slots up here. HTC have included a little SIM removal tool, which can be used to take out the micro SIM bay, as well as give you access to the micro SD card slot, both of which are kind of conveniently located in this little flap right next to the power lock button and the 3.5 millimeter audio jack, as well as a little secondary microphone pinhole up here. The uh, micro USB port has been moved from the side. Uh, it used to be here on the HTC One X, and it's uh, probably one of the little minor problems with this device is that this little bottom panel that covers the uh, uh, micro USB port is a little bit tricky to get open and close. Uh, which is kind of annoying since this will be the port that you access every time you want you have to charge the device also down here is the primary microphone pinhole on the right side you have the volume rocker uh, another difference between the butterfly and the droid dna is that you have some added pogo pins here another key improvement over the the one x is the camera is a little bit more flush with the device um, here we have an HTC One X and you can see how it, it pops out right here. Otherwise, the two devices side by side look uh, fairly similar in terms of width. Uh, not much to tell them apart by. The, uh, the butterfly is a little bit taller vertically, but that's not that significant of a change. As far as the screen goes, both of the screens side by side, you can't really tell much to distinguish them. It seems that the uh, the butterfly is a little bit more resistant to screen glare, but uh, otherwise the design elements are a little bit more compact with the butterfly. Uh, it doesn't have the curved design, but the back panel feels a little bit less sturdier than uh, on the One X. The HTC Butterfly runs on Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. Uh, this is more or less the same version of Jelly Bean that you'll find on the uh, HTC One X after it received its update about a month ago. Nothing's really changed over ICS apart from the uh, usual updated Jelly Bean improvements such as the expandable notifications. As far as apps go, HTC have included the, uh, a new gallery interface uh, which allows you to browse through your photos a little bit more efficiently. There's integration for Facebook, Flickr, Picasa, SkyDrive, and uh, of course your uh, complimentary 25 gigabytes of Dropbox storage are also included. As far as the uh, camera interface, it's pretty much what you'll see on other HTC devices. There's the ability to, to choose between different scenes, as well as different shooting modes such as HDR, panorama, group portrait, and there's also the ability to enable slow motion video. There's of course also the ability to take still images while recording video, as well as apply uh, various filters. As far as the music integration goes, um, there's SoundHound and TuneIn Radio are included. Beats Audio Enhancement is also included, but that only is enabled once you plug in a headset. Finally, uh, this version of Jelly Bean does not also include the Chrome browser. It only has the uh, regular Android browser. Uh, the browsing experience is fairly quick and the, uh, the text is really, really sharp as you'll see on the, uh, on the 1080p screen, which makes for a, a really enjoyable browsing experience. And that was the HTC Butterfly.